Originally, this video was going to be all three of the dev workshops, the Arsenal Divide, Parazon Rework, and Helminth. I'm going back and redoing the intro to this one because this will all be about the Arsenal Divide. Part two, which will be tomorrow, will be the Parazon Rework and the Helminth Grows a New Appetite, simply because, well, I decided after recording the first one that this is going to be uh, just the Arsenal Divide because they are changing a lot of stuff in this, but tomorrow should be more interesting because they are doing some things with the Parazon and the Helminth. I'm not going into what it is. That would be massive spoilers. And we all know how people love spoilers on the internet. Um, yeah, they are doing something that it's not a case of I disagree with. I like certain aspects of it. But yeah, half of that is basically me ranting about the fact they have done this when it doesn't quite work as it I think it should anyway. And releasing more stuff for a very limited space anyway. So, for the first time in eight and a half years, tomorrow, I may regret uploading that video. But, that's tomorrow's problem. Today, let's move on to the Arsenal Divided. Well, it doesn't actually say Divided, it just says Divide. What they are doing is, they are making changes to Melee, basically, and adding in Arcanes that are going to be added to Primaries and Secondaries. The biggie is things like Berserker is having the attack speed increase, Blood Rush is having its max value lowered, they can go into lots of different stats, they are still lowering it from 60% crit chance. Oh yeah, that was kind of useful, to 40%. If you actually watch the video link to this, they do say that they are aiming it to make you use more crit based stuff and then doing that. Um, okay, <laughs> that one... It sounded weirder than it is. Condition Overload is being nerfed. Glaives are being reworked again. To a, a better way. Because you can see the damage is going down. The radial attack is going down. The, um, yeah. Down, 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 down. This has been coming for a long, long time now. They were talking about doing this a while ago. And... Basically, they're going to take a lot of melee weapons and decrease the damage to them. And the radial blast, it would have made more sense to just decrease the radial blast, which you have to time anyway, than decreasing the direct hit damage. But, well, it's going to kind of ruin a lot of things, mainly the glaive and the glaive prime. Because the Glaive Prime is the original one, and yeah, all of these damage numbers go down a lot. I mean, the Pathocyst is going from 786 to... It's nearly, not quite, but near enough, half the damage for the Radial Attack. Kind of similar with the direct hit at damage. Which is weird, since the, I've already said trying to make it more balanced by decreasing the damage on weapons. They did this with whips a while ago, and it basically killed off the whip. I'm hoping that this is balanced out with a lot of other things, like the changes to these mods. Me, well, condition overloaded, going from 120% melee damage per status type affecting the target to 80%, kind of ruins it a little bit. It's still high enough that it's going to be a decent amount of damage added, but just 40% less than it was before, which makes it nigh on half as effective as it was before. <laughs> yeah, tr there's a trend going on here. Blood Rush, similar, but I stopped running Blood Rush when they changed the focus tree anyway, so I'll still run the other mod, which increases the combo counter, which I never remember the name of, even looking for it, but the crit based one, I don't use this anymore anyway because. Yeah, it stacks with the combo multiplier, but unless you are purposely doing a mission where you are being attacked by a lot of enemies at once and can keep the combo going, uh, yeah, as soon as it goes back to zero, that 60, sorry, going to be 40%, disappears anyway. So, eh, it's not such a great deal there, but Berserker, oh, it cannot stack with Fury straight off, so you have to now choose to run Berserker or Fury. Uh, 
It also says Berserker Fury, so possible name change coming. But the attack speed is going up. The max is going down. The time is going down, but it does stack up to two. So it is going to be doing... It's going to be better. Then there is the Arcanes that are going to be added for the primaries. There is the Deadhead that obviously turns it into more of an accurate based one. There is Dexterity, which is the next one that is going to be slightly better. I'm now realising I'm doing this completely wrong because... Honestly, there's only one of these I'll actually ever use, or anybody should really use. I mean, plus 60% damage for 20 seconds stacks up to 6 times, increases the combo duration. This is for a primary weapon. It can be fitted into your primary. That one. On kill, 30% damage for 6 seconds stacks up to 12 times. Increases reload speed and max ammo. So we have Dexterity, which is going to be pretty useful. Deadhead which is going to be great for snipers and such, but it's going to be Merciless that is going to be the one that everybody's pretty much going to be using because it increases the ammo, it increases the reload speed, and it increases the damage. Which, and it, we know this is going to head down that road if these work out well, they're going to finally bring along what they said they were thinking about doing many years ago and getting rid of the Serration mod and replacing it with an Arcane that does the same kind of thing. Oh look, there's an arcane that does the same kind of thing. Hmm, secondaries? Well, can go the similar kind of way. Same one, same one, same one. There isn't really a sniper based secondary, though that would be an interesting new weapon. A sniper secondary, rather than the primary. So you can still use your powerful primaries, whatever you happen to be wanting to use at the time, but then have a really powerful sniper based secondary. That would be great. There are a few that have come close, but there isn't one I can say would be a really good sniper secondary. Deadhead, same kind of thing, but again, it's going to have to be secondary merc merciless that's going to be the arcane that everybody is going to end up using. So, the kind of nerfing melee just a little bit, yeah. They're actually nerfing it by like 40% for condition overload, which would have been better at 100, but whatever. The age restriction on this was a complete slap in the face. And then there is new mods. Where are they? These. The galvanized mods. These, well, you can see they are for rifle, multi-shot. Ooh. Multi-shot on kill. Uh, it increases for 20 seconds, stacks up to 4 on headshot, crit damage is increased. Uh, where is it? Damage per status type affecting the target, basically condition overload but for a primary. Then the same ones for shotguns and pistols. Eh, near enough, exactly the same ones. Different names, similar mods. Galvanized Hell, which is increasing the multi-shot. I bet you that's why it was the age restricted. It seemed weird to age restrict that video. It seemed weird that um, Google has that weird verification crap behind it. Because let's be honest, that was a complete not a nightmare. Especially since I don't know why I had to verify my age with them. But hey, there we go. Then, oh, hmm, where is it? Login items. Upon logging in to update 30.5, all players rank mastery rank 5 or above will receive a 3 day affinity booster and 5 build format. Any player who owns the Kuvan Nuko, which we'll get onto a second, want to cover this first, will receive 2 extra build format. Any players who have owned any lich weapon at any point, hmm, any Kuva weapon, don't know why it says lich weapon, they are all Kuva weapons, again, moving on. <laughs> I have converted a lich, I have an active lich, will get, oh, active lich. So it's that one Requiem Ultimatum, which is a new taunt for the sisters and the liches. Um, is that one per one they've had? Or is it just one if they have uh, had any in interaction whatsoever with a lich? Yeah. Going to say it's the second one. And players who have converted a lich... Or vanquished a uh, Kuvalich, hmm, kind of the same as this one here, isn't it? Will get all, which is a Requiem wildcard mod. Um, 
on login. So no login changes there. I was actually hoping that there was. And lastly, because I wanted to end with this, they are killing the Kuva Nucor dead. Outright, it will work no more. Which is weird, because I've gone through this many times and it usually hits four. Sometimes, because I have seen it and I have made reference to it in the past, it will hit a fifth enemy. It depends on a lot of different factors, but it's only supposed to chain four enemies. I'm kind of glad I don't use this thing anymore, otherwise this would be gutting. I use what is basically a launcher based secondary, so really glad I moved on from the Kuva Lich at this point because the Kuva Lich is the Kuva Lich, the Kuva Nuko is basically the weapon, the secondary everybody has been using for a while for obvious reasons, and well, they are nerfing it into the ground nearly because instead of it chaining from four enemies it will now be chaining to only two still makes it good for crowd control but well how do i put this really really nicely a vermisplicer exists but how long until they nerf that next because well, you know that's coming, and nope, I don't use that as a secondary for this exact reason. If you use something that is powerful all the time, this happens. Which makes me really glad I moved on from the Kuva Nuko, otherwise I would be completely gutted. So, all in all, massive changes coming to the arsenal, and it is basically all mostly around <laughs> melee mod nerfing, few changes to weapons, primary and secondary will be getting arcanes, it's only one most people will be using, though depends on the weapon, that headshot one will be good for snipers. And actually I was going to cut this completely but I think I need to add in the steel path because one I kind of didn't mention was, yeah, these will be available from Teshin's Steel Path on a store, which means Steel Essence, running the Steel Path. They are making changes to this as well, which means the Acolytes are going to spawn more often, but I'm, I'm kind of glad at the same time they are changing the Steel Essence, so it despawns after five minutes. I actually have a video out there for farming Steel Essence, a really old one, where during that, I watched Steel Essence despawn after five minutes. Same with the Riven Slivers, and actually I think they were the only two things that were spawning at the time, because that's actually a ridiculously old one. So, um, I don't know if that's something that they fixed and have gone back and are now putting back as a thing, but it used to despawn. But at the same time, that was because of the whole too many items on the floor thing. So no going to a survival mission, hiding in a corner and taking out enemies from range and just leaving all the stuff there. Apart from the fact that you can still do that, all you have to do is jump out every five minutes at most and pick it up. The missions that have three steel essence will now be five and the acolytes are going to spawn more often, meaning that even though these mods are going to be based inside of steel path on a store that hopefully that thing gets its rework with this <clears throat> if it's adding this it has to but you're going to be able to get steel essence much easier and with that i think we'll leave this off here for now thanks for watching and i'll catch you next time <laughs>